How y'all doing? Get up. Well, it's been a couple, three weeks since I did my last video. And I showed you the tires in the front and back. So I went on a crusade trying to find some tires because they're scarce right now. Anyways, the American Elites, Dunlop American Elites, are one of the best long distance tires that I've ever had. And I did oh, well over a thousand miles since my last video. And I'm still impressed at just how much tread we have. So, so anyways, started shopping around, because I don't know, there's such a shortage right now, and the OEMs come with a narrow white stripe. Okay care less really it's just as long as they're the uh, American elites so I found one front tire in Quebec <laughs> had that shipped to me a couple weeks ago and it took a little more effort and finally after about five different tries um, I found a place in Guelph Ontario for the back tire the 180s are so so scarce right now that's the uh, back tire 180 65 B something 16s front tires a 17 inch So I got that last week. So Here we go Brand new set of bananas For for the spring That's the front And the back There we go so, I'm going to have Windsor Chopper install them, because I don't have a tire machine, I sure as hell am not going to try to do with the VTX, using um, tire irons and shit, almost ruined the tire, so, I got the front for $250 all in delivered, and the back for $350 all in delivered, tax the whole nine yards, so that's pretty good. Now the dealership wants a buck twenty a tire to mount. I can get front and back done. That wins a chopper for a buck and a half. So and that's balanced, installed everything. So I saw the videos. I'm pulling the back tire off. I just let them do it. You know, for the sake of twenty five bucks. You <laughs> should. I ain't doing it. So before I take off. Oh yeah. When I bought the bike, I had a the touring seat, and it ended up being a little higher than I like. So I got the low rider seat. And let's see if I can't. Okay, try to there we go. So I'm going to pull that seat off today and ride. I got the uh, the original Touring. Now, not the one that came with the bike, but a pretty good used one for a really good price and some wheeling and dealing. So I'm going to swap the seats out. We did a nice little ride on Monday, a friend of mine and I, and um, we put on, oh shit, 350 miles for the day, so just so glad I had the other seat, it's about an inch and a half of padding, so a little more comfy. So like I said, pretty nice seat. 
Makes me think I should have kept the one that came with the bike when I originally had it. It was in a little nicer shape than this, but still pretty good. That's all there is to it. Clips under the front, one screw. Son of a bitch. Plus, I'm a lot more sure of myself than I was a couple of years ago when I first got the bike. This is a 900 pound motorcycle. You kind of sort of want to be able to know, you know, your footing and all that. Well, anyways, go for a scoop today. I forget my damn bike key I did, didn't I? I forgot the bike key. I should leave one in the garage. Ah. Damn bees. Okay, I'll be right back. Okay, so that's going to be it for now, I think. Uh, go for a scoop. Try to get some last of the season rides, and it's um, October 1st, 2021. Should have said that earlier, but saying it now. So, uh, let's see. Yeah. Some wind therapy. Caps all those tires. Yeah, baby. Based on the mileage, um, what's left on this thing, I'm from the time of year it is now, I'm easily good till March of next year. So I'm gonna go for a ride. It had two little tiny rips in the back. It's all repaired. So. They're a $400 seat when they're new. So wheeling and dealing and a couple bucks. Very pleased with it. I don't, I don't use it that much, but 
nice to have it when I do. Alright. Papers. 